Alrighty, hello guys, Azrael in here, and we're going to be playing this game just came out today. I did get a press copy of it. I actually could have played it yesterday and the day before, but I didn't want to because I wasn't able to show past a certain point. And tonight we're going to be playing through the entire thing now that it's fully released. And yeah, so what is this game about? Okay, so it's a detective game, obviously the shape-shifting detective. We do have these supernatural powers where we can shape-shift into other people and in order to learn, like, open up additional dialogues, talk to people that, you know, you normally wouldn't be able to talk to as, as the detective, trying to solve this crime, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. I've, uh, not played it, not watched anything of the game yet, uh, so this is gonna be totally new for me, totally fresh, and, uh, yeah, well, I'm excited to play it. Hope you guys are excited to see it. Mud, hello. Revy, hello. Ching, hello. Teresa, hello. Roboron, hello. Uh, y plays hello, Jossiel hello, Sten hello, Huntaro hello, Michael Myers and Evil Ash like in Wolf Cop hello, Wow Wow Wubsy and Ahmed hello, Fletcher hello. Um, and as for the episode, last episode of Count Council, I will be playing that when it comes out. Um, usually they send out an email like the week that it comes out. So once I know when it's coming out, I will be playing it then. Um, let's see, hello to Punk Rar, hello Devonta, hello to Josephine, and hello to Diego, hello Queen Mary, hello Marcos. And hello to, let's see, Scream.Ava. And hello to Connie Smith. And, oh, I jumped too far. Hello, Beastern. Hello to Denise. Hello, Midori. Hello to Daniel. Hello to Maddie J Gaming. Hello to Mermaid Rosanna. Hello to The Mini Gamer. Hello to Vinny. Hello, pra Patron. I, I hope I said that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Hello to Astrea. Hello to Tana. Hello to Philip. Hello to Bebe. Hello to Kristen, hello Pablo, hello to everybody. How is everybody doing tonight? I am excited to play this game. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to a good detective game and it is an FMV style game, so it is fully acted. Everything is acted out by like actual people. Um, and yeah, I'm excited, I'm excited to play it. So hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be good, but we will see, we will see. Let's, if you guys want the uh, volume a little louder, quieter, let me know, we do have subtitles turned on. Hopefully my face won't be blocking too much. I'll do my best not to talk during cutscenes, but you know, sometimes I, I respond to chat when I probably shouldn't. We'll, we'll do our best though, let's see here. So, shape shifting detective. Let's do it. How long is this game? Um, I'm actually not sure, but it is a FMV game. And to be honest, those games don't usually last that long because of, you know, it's actual people. And a lot of work goes into these types of games. So, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see how long it is. I have no idea. No idea. We're gonna solve a murder. At least I hope we're gonna solve a murder. <laughs> the shape-shifting detective. You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Ellis Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. It better not say that, Ravi. I would be really mad. <laughs> Thank you, Marcos. Directed by Tim You Cowles. need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> exactly. Rewind. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, Jordan. Hello, Ellie Brown. who he was and he's like exactly rewind i don't know you i don't know to radio august dark nights with poe and monroe it's five o'clock and i'm ellis monroe with your august update august police are appealing for information following the murder of 21 year old dorota shaw miss shaw's body was discovered last night chief dupont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. 
So I won't pick the same option that time. <laughs> I guess don't click that button anymore, right? You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. I probably do, though. He's not wrong. You know why you're here, don't you? Uh, I think they suspect me for murder? Then humor me, the dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? I don't you know what I did. Job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? Why? Yes? It's a rhetorical question. Oh, sorry. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's going to think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Splendid. I don't know if I'm supposed to say style it or not. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, You'll be deprecated. Deprecated. Well, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound we good at all. I expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In Why brighter not? news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Farley. The eight month old Basset Hound puppy was found oh. outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? I'm not sure yet. That's fine. It's yours for as long as you want it. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. Oh. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. It's deathly quiet. Interesting choice of words. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief? Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your okay. room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Just finishing. Okay. Um, yeah, it's tarot cards. I'm just looking for my yeah. room. It's a big place. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. Ah, uh, I'm good. I'm good, that thanks. That sounds super. I'm in room one and that's down the hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. Which room are you in, Sam? None of your goddamn business. I, I mean, I should probably be polite, right? Good. We're neighbors. Just knock if you need me. All right. My rear view mirror. <laughs> the red glow of my brake lights illuminated the lump lying in the road behind me. This is our room here. I should have got a reading. Um, I'm here to solve a murder. She's a potential suspect, so I don't really want to talk to her right now anyway. But hello, Nicholas. Hello, Treesap Studios. Oh my god. Adrian, hello. And Vil, hello. Andrew, hello. And I am having an awesome evening, Andrew. Hope you are too. Our room looks nice. I feel like our room is very nice. Looks like a nice cozy bed. Okay, so we can only shift that Sam right now. Unnaturally twisted atop the pavement. 
I wanted to say I was breathing, but in all honesty... Quiet, radio. Guess we're gonna go hail a cab? This game sounds weird. It's an FMV game. Uh, we're gonna go visit the chief. Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector DuPont. I wasn't I... sure you'd come. But I suppose you're between jobs? Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam, that's your cover now. So, the job. Director so he knows Shaw. we're a shifter. 21, the compass cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. All of them? Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. But that doesn't mean it was her. <sighs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs. To be honest, I thought she'd probably been smoking something. <laughs> that's why I didn't take it seriously. You've never played an FMV game? I've played, I've played a few. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? Okay. I'll be we'll telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. <laughs> you don't have any real authority, understand? But. You help me out, I'll help you. All right. How's he gonna help me out? Do I have to spell it out? I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. What's my problem? What did I do? Girl town. The problem. Did I kill? Come somebody? and find me when you're settled. What this is second do? chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. I don't know what I did. Um, tell me about Dorota. What do you want to know? She was a cellist, selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. I like cello though. Cello's really nice. Don't read the paper, do you? No. Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner, we got a call from the mother just after 10pm. In her bedroom. She was naked. Strangled. Kinky. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a oh. weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. That's weird. The one thing only the killer would know. That's weird. Uh, old here, runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. All right. Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? All right, sir. I hate to question him this early. Uh, I think he'll get mad. So let's go back to the guest house, I guess. Massa, hello, how's it going? And I was in the chat. Okay, so we already. I mean, she did offer us a, a reading. All right, let's. I, I mean, we can go Sam, talk to her again. Is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. We saw it in the murder? cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. All right. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. I don't think it was her. I didn't. We've only been here two days. I understand it's suspicious me being a stranger in town, but it's the truth. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. 
I feel like it's too obvious that it would be her. Reading. I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. <laughs> but I like vampires. All right, so let's see. Uh, saved? She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around nine, I think. You can ask her. Do you think Violet is trashy? She's guilty accuser. I don't think that it's her. I don't think it's her. Um, like, she's the one who's trying to tell the trashy. police. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. Oh. Okay. Let's go talk to... Let's go talk to Lexi. Hi. Sam, is it? Come on yes. in. Make yourself at home. Me casa es mi casa. <laughs> Come on. Gustavo, hello. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously, and Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Why are you nervous? Good old-fashioned fortune-telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? Uh, Everybody thinks that. It's such a cliche. The death card doesn't even mean death. Most of the time. <laughs> what does it mean then? The Five of Swords. I think so anyway. There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want no matter the cost. Oh. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota, and Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know, ee ee ee. Swords in general are bad. Well, that's not good. She's like my big sister, so pretty well. No. Why did you The cards told us to. Well, the cards of rain. Tara gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery-pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. <laughs> It is doll, okay. No. Well, yeah. She well, seems no. nervous. We have a job to do. I think she knows something else. I didn't say job. I said job. A job? Okay. We make a um, cheese obelisk. A job. And depending on the shape of that job, what? we get different answers to questions. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make no, sense. You don't. No, you don't. That's how. Wow. That how cocky is she right there? I was in with Bronwyn. We were um, painting our nails. I. No, I mean, yeah, I've already cleaned it off. You painted her nails last night. To t that doesn't make any sense. She's lying. She is lying so much. Oh my god. You must be a new guest, or you're burglaring us. I'm Rain, by the way. Am I supposed to shake your hand? Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way, so it's cold showers from there on in. Oh. It really bugs me. Ooh, cold showers. All right. I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young had red hair, a talented musician? No, not at all. You're completely barking up the wrong tree there. It's true. <laughs> Spoken like the true killer, posing as a detective, trying to frame someone else for the murder. Really, dude? Really? We did a reading. A group reading, actually. This guy's With a special weird. tarot deck. What's a group The reading? three of us get together and read the same cards. Bronwyn says it makes the whole thing stronger or more powerful or something. But I'm pretty sure I'd get the same answers just on my own. Oh, are you that, that good at it, huh? Mercury? It's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. 
With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. I Can don't I have it at them? the moment. Bronwyn has it. I was in Something's my room. Something's up. Praying, actually. Molly, this is not I the right stream to ask for that. I'm still praying. It didn't work. Didn't my prayer work. that the girl would be safe. Why didn't you go to the authorities? All right. Okay, so let's see. She's, he said that Brown had the deck, but let's see if uh, Lexi's got anything for us. Or do we ever talk to? I think we have to. Let's go talk to Violet. I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already. I have. Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Why yes, was she a lamb? Why? Young. Innocent. Oh. Lambs get slaughtered, though. Don't they? <laughs> what the? No. Nice. So yes, that's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Oh. How? How? Uh, Molly, you'll see the next announcement. Just uh, look for it when it pops Sorry. up. Sorry. I'm gossiping. Yeah, I don't want cool. to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Who's her boyfriend? Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. They're tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Why do you want them to leave? Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. <laughs> She's got a point. It's not the first time I've harboured killers, Sam. I'm sure what? it won't be the Seriously? last. There's been more murders here? It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. Which I imagine I was here, or getting groceries somewhere. How do you not remember? Is it because of the pills? I've driven by it. Never actually been in it. Okay. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. I don't know, Dr. Sam. You tell me. Jeez, woman. Why are we looking at her feet? <laughs> um, yeah, she's she's a schizo, it sounds like. Alright, so Brown had the Mercury cards. I wanna see what they are. Mercury? Sure. I'll just get it. Why are you nervous? It feels a bit sacrilegious just spreading it out to show you. It doesn't really answer questions, it more asks them. Do you want it to ask you a question, Sam? Mm, sure? Hmm. It wants to know if you're happy being the person you are now. Should I lie? I feel like I don't really want to be Sam. Hmm. Mercury agrees with you. It's nice that you're being honest with me and with yourself. Well, thanks. Thanks for that useless reading. Okay, let's go to my room for a sec. I want to see if we can uh, switch to another person. Transition. You're not a superhero. Okay, so these are all the people we can become. She was really sketchy. Like, really sketchy. Really sketchy. Hi. I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. That's us now. Okay, so we're Bronwyn. Let's go talk to Kay. Lexi was really sketchy. Bron, are you okay? 
I'm not okay. I'm okay. I'm not okay. Well, if you're worried, I should be worried. Why are you worried? Should I be worried? Are you worried? Only if you are. This could go on in circles for a while. Let's <laughs> just keep cool and stay in our rooms. Really? She doesn't want to talk to me? Let's go talk to Ray then. Something doesn't feel right. I don't know what exactly, but it's not right. Thoughts on Tarota? Well, it's hard to say with just one victim. Musical talent, red hair. If there's another, there will be a pattern. Another? Do you think it's another right? Right? A right? As in the same thing we were chasing after in Birmingham? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Just have to try and stop it. Birmingham? Stop it? Yes, stop it. If it's a traveler killing things. A traveler? Trave traveler? Bron, you're acting weird. Are you still you? Of course. Stop freaking me out. It's not cool in this current climate. Damn, he knows some stuff. Okay, so it sounds like there's been murders in other places. Um, so they think it's like a traveling person. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to Violet and then Is we're gonna go talk to the I detective. Can help with Miss Castle? I hope we're not being too much. It's very brave of you to tell the chief that Dorota would be murdered and then We're trying to solve a murder. Afterwards. I'd have run for sure. Your you mom got a palm read and saw exactly true. No, no. Um, Fletcher, what what those people who do the palm reads and tarot readings do is they they read people. How how you react to what they say is how they change what they're saying to fit you. It's not real. <laughs> Why, you strike me as someone braver than that. Why would I? You're prime suspect, aren't you? You look strong enough to strangle another woman, even if you're innocent. A jury would probably convict you. Wow. Thanks. You look. Even if I'm innocent, you look so Well, if you can't pay for your rooms, you might just find out. <laughs> what? She's threatening us? Dude! Okay. Let's see. Dude, she just like threatened us. Alright, let's go visit the Mr. chief. Castle. I'm surprised to see you here. I didn't kill. You're a prime suspect, and your alibi is that you were in the guest house with another prime suspect at the time. It doesn't look good for you. Have you got a problem with me? Everyone has a problem with you, Bronwyn. I can arrest you for something right now. For How what? does perverting the course of justice sound? Good luck holding that. <laughs> oh, you are pushing me today, young lady. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Fletcher, I'm not gonna watch a Hollywood TV show to to, to see what's real. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we already talked to all those people. Let's go to our room and switch people again. Okay, we'll go switch to switch to her. Hi, go talk I'm to Lexi. Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm Lexi. I don't like Lexi. I don't trust her. She's she's really sketchy. Okay, let's go. Let's go talk to uh What's up, Lexi? Lexi? I'm sensing something's on your mind. I'm worried about our alibi. Don't worry about that. We don't have anything to hide. You're just fine. Do you think See, Sansa's I, I trust her. Maybe, but it'll be difficult to prove. Oh. Oh. Something's weird, isn't it? Ron seems strange today. How are you? Do you think Bronwyn might get falsely imprisoned? 
It happens all the time. He so he doesn't either. think... He doesn't think that Bron did no. it, so... I'm just worried. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just a chill game today. Alright, so we're gonna go visit Violet now. Hello, yeah, Lexi. What can I do for you? Please don't ask us to leave. Please don't ask us. Have you been speaking to Sam? You're safe for the minute. That sounds ominous. Just a bit. If one of your crew did murder Dorota, you can't really stay here, can you? The police want alibis from everyone for last night. Well, I don't have one. I literally can't remember what I was doing. I don't know. And she is she is on bed, so she could just be a little bit crazy. Let's go visit what is the it, chief. Taylor? Why did you Who would want to kill Dorota? You doing your own investigation? Great. Let me know when you find out. Bronwyn thinks you've got it in for her. I go after bad guys. She does. If she's a bad guy, then I've got it in for her. What were you doing Monday night? In hindsight, that does look like a good idea, doesn't it? We didn't believe you. We still don't. Dorota's boyfriend seems sweet. Have you met him? Yes. No. <sighs> still sticking with that, huh? Still? Why did you hire Sam? So we've met the boyfriend? I didn't hire Sam. The Shaw family did. No, they didn't. Why did you hire Sam? Tarot cards tell you that? Yes, sure. <sighs> Listen, Sam gets results. Nobody knows how, but the results are got. I want the killer found as quickly as possible. You've got a problem with that. So he doesn't know. I, I don't know who to trust, man. The only person who seems like they're genuine is Brawin. Or Bronwyn. She's the only one who seems that's trustworthy. And secret killing. It's a, yeah, it's an FMV type of game. Okay, so let's go to the room. Okay, so we already played. Let's go as Rain. They all did uh, it. I don't trust them. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Okay. All right, let's go. Talk to them again. I don't know. I don't know who to trust. I I don't really trust any of them. Okay, let's go talk to Violet first. Whoa, where's Violet? Where's Violet? Have you met the new detective yet? We're basically under 24-hour surveillance now. Do you think Sam's- Onto what exactly? What we did last night. The real reason we're here. Sam's not a mind reader. At least I don't think so. Just try not to let anything slip. Oh, so they are here for a reason. Okay, so we just visit Brown. Let's visit Lexi. Rain, I'm so worried about Bronwyn. What are we going to do? Why are you worried about- The chief thinks she killed Dorota. Maybe she did kill Dorota. I don't think she did. Whereas, I don't know where Violet is. She just, like, disappeared. Rain, I'm busy. You gonna turn yourself in? <laughs> yeah. No. Then you're wasting my time. Why would I turn myself in? Dude, he's rude. Tune the radio. Sent down to the vault for further military evaluation, like the rest of Thacker's creations. She had already been here once. It was just a matter of time I'll until she returns. Change anything. I wait across the puddle gathering at the base of the ramp. My thumb caresses the safety, ensuring it's off. As I reach the steel wall, the garage plunges into total darkness. 
The sirens wheeze to a halt before my eyes can adjust, the emergency lighting kicks in. How the hell she managed that, I have no idea. The door from the west stairwell crashes open. This is just like I a story Jimmy's time. I raise Jimmy's gun, but she's in cover before I can aim. Okay, yeah, this is just like story time on the radio. I'm gonna go back to, uh, Sam. At least no more pets. I'll be doing more pets in another day. Okay, so we're back to Sam. So Violet- Oh, she's here. She's here now. It's not two times blood points. It's 1.5 times blood points. She doesn't want to talk to us, though. Is this the buffer nobody noticed? What do you mean? What do you mean, JP? She doesn't want to tell us anything else. I went back to Sam thinking that we could get some more dialogue open, but... They're all so sketchy. I don't trust any of them. Okay, let's go as Violet. Yeah, Hello. no one wants to talk. I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Okay. I feel like it you was weird that she disappeared. Violet. Is it because I read tarot? Why don't you let me pull a card for you? No, thank you. Okay. No, thank you. Okay. Did you sleep? Yes, thank you. I didn't see you yesterday evening. I stayed in my room. You can ask Lexi. That reminds me, I think I found a book of yours. It's called He Came Through the Shadows. What makes you think it's mine? Your name's written on the inside cover. Anybody could write that, though. Anybody could have written that. All right. This game is Mrs. called Gallagher. The Shapeshifting Detective. We're trying to solve a Unexpected murder. Unexpected pleasure. Hi. How long are you planning to be here? In town? I really don't know. Until the tarot tells us to leave. Or you kick us out, obviously. <laughs> How did you know Dorota was going to die? We didn't know she was definitely going to die. Only that she was definitely in danger of dying. Tarot cards can tell you a lot when you know what you're looking for. Okay. Let's go visit Lexi. She's so nervous. Is everything okay? Ignore the mess. I was just going to tidy it up. I don't Did like Lexi. Did you have a pleasant evening last night? Great, thanks. The room's really lovely. Hello, Holly. But you weren't in this room, were you? I didn't see you around yesterday evening. I stayed here. I was playing solitaire uh, with Bronwyn. You weren't painting your nails. You weren't painting your nails. You weren't yeah, painting your nails. Yeah, that's a lie. Hmm. I don't want to. I don't know if I should give myself away. We caught her in a lie, though, right there. Isn't? It? Yeah. Um. I was playing, and she was scoring. Do you not know how solitaire works? She's a liar. She's a liar. Okay. What's going on, Violet? Is everything okay? Yes, I'm okay. No, I'm not okay. What's the matter? The new detectives acting strangely. I don't feel safe. You can feel safe. I've, I've already got somebody posted outside the guest house. It's an unmarked car. But you know oh. Danny, don't you? Leyland's kid? Any problems, you let him know. But off you go. I'm being subtle. I don't want to see you back here, okay? You got anything to report? Give me a call. Any problems, talk to Danny. Danny, remember? D I remember. Okay. Good. Okay. Just look after you. So, there is somebody outside. 
there's somebody outside. Can we go talk to Danny right now? I want to talk to Danny. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. I don't think it was Danny, no. I think that's just some dude outside. I feel like Lexi's innocent, but she's paranoid because she knows- She does know something, for sure. I don't know if it was her, but yeah, she definitely knows something. Who knows whether you've made the right decision or not, Claude. How's Bronwyn been? What were you doing last night? How Overly nice. She's covering her tracks well, if she has anything to hide. She's what really trying to- What asked you to do again? You just told me to report back to you if I noticed anything suspicious. Good grief, Claude. You're a bit young to be losing your marbles already. <laughs> All right. What were you doing last night? Claude, we've been through this. I honestly don't remember. I checked my diary and there's no entry, so I was probably here, as always. How do you not remember, though? How could you not remember, Violet? I don't know. Which is exactly what I said in my statement. Don't try and get me to contradict myself. Well, you're being sketchy, though. Like, really sketchy. Chief Dupont. What a pleasant surprise. I think we've covered just about everything twice over, but if you think I'm hiding something... Who are you really, Bronwyn Castle? Does it bother you, Chief Dupont? Knowing there are things in this world that aren't black and white. You don't know what to file me under, and that makes you uncomfortable. What? Or perhaps you've already made up your mind about me. Why don't you tell me who you think I am? Hmm? I think you're the you're killer. You're a artist. I haven't asked anyone for a penny. No, okay, then why is she here? Why is she here? Good evening, Chief Dupont. Dorota's family, what does the tarot say about them? Bronwyn never been arrested? I don't think it's Bronwyn. I can do a reading, if you want. Yes. Sure. It's I don't think anything can to rest them all. It talks about loss and dealing with that loss. I don't think you need a tarot reader to interpret that one. Bronwyn never been arrested? Not since I've met her. She's a lawful good type character. If you play D&D. Hmm. I have. Has he ever been in trouble with the police? No. Not to my knowledge. She's sweet and innocent. She knows something, though. Or haven't you picked up on that yet? She knows something, though. Alright, let's visit Lexi. Oh, Chief Inspector. You gave me a shock. What is it? What have I done? I feel like she can, we can pressure her. Why are you here in August? What were you doing? Nothing. I mean, I was here all night. This cat's on a bron can vouch for me. Why are you here in August? Well, it's not for the nightlife, I can tell you that. This is where the cards told us to go. I guess you could call it destiny. Do you know anyone here? No, I can honestly swear I don't know any Augustives? Hmm. Augustonians? Augustans, until we got here. Oh, Helly, Tell this is the wrong them. stream to ask for stuff, dude. Tell She's me about Aquarius. Her favorite color is green. Yeah, it's Actually, FMV. No. It is, Gustavo. Has she killed? Has she killed before? Are you prepared to go to jail for her? Jail? What for? I haven't done anything wrong. Aiding and abetting a criminal. I'll aim a bet Bronwyn to the day I die, but she's not a criminal. She's very convinced that she's not a criminal. All right.
Okay, I was wondering if it would let me visit myself. It would have been funny if we could go visit visit the guy that we're impersonating. Okay, let's go back to our room. Turn to Sam. See you later, Gustavo. Okay, so we're just gonna be Sam. We're gonna be Sam and I'm gonna go talk to them again. Oh, we can't do anything? I can't actually do anything with the radio. She comes back to the card. It seems more full than before. Wow. Mm. I do like dreams like this, Poe. Please tell me mm -hmm. you think about this one. Mm. Yeah, so... It's so weird. Again, there's someone... You think so, Ravi? It could be. I find that always interesting. So it's an unresolved issue. Very you, good. That's sort of something you could say about most dreams that are recurring dreams. Of course. There's an unresolved issue here, but it's related to shopping. And I'm wondering what, what the shopping stands for, whether it's... It's probably not literal, as you know, Monroe. You, you, you've interpreted so many dreams. Um... Makes me oh, she would stop changing everything you. back on the shelves. So it's almost someone someone doesn't someone puts a lot of effort into something, but they don't get redeemed for it. They have to put everything back the way it was. You know what, Poe? I think you might need a promotion. <laughs> to to deputy dream interpreter. <laughs> I mean, keep going the way you're going, and I might be out of a job. Oh, we need you, Alice. <laughs> well, so what I can tell you is shopping relates to needs and desires so gabby what what you're what you're having dreams about here so all right but we did catch um lexi in a lie so she's covering for bronwyn or she knows something she really does know something i want to talk to her some more i don't know why there's no more dialogue for it it's six o'clock and you're listening to radio august Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe? It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New Tulip. dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival. Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. Oh. That's 6 o'clock <laughs> with Poe and Monroe. Alright, so it's uh, 6 p.m. right now. Visit Oscar. Visit Oscar. Who are you? Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. It's typical of them. So this is her boyfriend. Yeah, I went around there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work, and we were, you know, hanging out. I left at about five. Playing football. It's just five aside. Uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's Not nervous. A couple of months, maybe. We did care for each other. No. Why? Violet did call her slutty. Huh. Chief DuPont said there was no signs of anything like that. What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No. <laughs> right? No, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet. And I 
suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. See, now he's, like, nervous, the way he's got his arms crossed. Yeah. It's big enough for two people to have sex in. On all fours. <laughs> I guess they've done that! She had a few kinks. Nothing weird. <laughs> yeah, a band from the 60s. I'm not discussing this with you. Clothes mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even it's as a kind joke. of. It's kind of weird. Unless it was like her mom's or something. All right, so we can be Oscar now. I think we can be Oscar. Any more news on Oscar Wayne, right? Uh, I don't think yep, it was Oscar. That's what you told me too. Not a suspect. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Bronwyn and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. The yeah. tarot readers mentioned Birmingham. You're looking into it. There's some talk about a traveller. Whatever that is. Oscar's not a suspect. He was playing football last night with lots of witnesses. I don't think it was Oscar. According to Oscar, Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet, which is strange. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. That's it. Just the tarot readers. No one else is remotely suspicious compared to them. I don't know. I still don't trust Violet. Got any reason for saying that? I'll look into it. Okay. Let's go back to the guest host. I think we can be Oscar now. Can you guess who? Um, I can't guess at this early in the game. Um, I probably will be able to later. So we're gonna go to our room. Your isn't endless. It will run out at some point. My ability is not endless. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Okay, so Lexi seemed to know us. I want to go talk to Lexi. I want to go talk to Lexi first. Where's Lexi? Okay, Lexi's not there. What? Rain is... Okay, Rain and Lexi. I bet your brown ones miss... Brown ones. They're all missing. Oscar Wainwright, what a surprise. Where are they? Dude. Oscar? What are you doing here? I want to help. I know. We've already talked about this. You said you'd get into Bronwyn Castle's room somehow and have a look around. Why? How? I don't know. Maybe ask if you can go around. Women like vulnerable men. Do they? I don't know. Do I look like vulnerable men? Just do whatever you have to, Oscar. I've got to concentrate Damn. on some other leads. So, uh, you can go now. Sorry, dude. Okay, so he wants us to get into Brownland's room and look around. Uh, let's try going back there. Like, we're in the room. I don't think I can actually look around, though. Cowering in the closet, peering through the crack. It floated there in the center of the loft. The bag lady. If it moved on, uh, maybe escape was possible. But it just floated in I the don't middle know yet, of the empty room, eerily silent. The vacant penthouse had a hallucinatory quality. Dimly lit in blue. Through the tall Hello, Ice. In this game, we're, it's, we're a detective and we can shapeshift into people that we meet. Uh, so we're trying to find out information and trying to see who did it. Um, we need, I think I need to switch. Oscar didn't, being Oscar didn't give me anything. Yeah, being Oscar didn't give me anything. Okay, um. 
I wonder if I can visit Hi, Oscar with I'm her. Lexi. Oh, um, mm. Hello, Ninja. I'm Lexi. And Michael, it's so far so good. I mean, it, we just, we're not that far. Not even an hour yet. Yeah, not, no, not all the girls. Just the tarot readers left. And I don't know why. Where's Oscar? Dude, where... Where... Where is everybody? Okay, now she's back. Dorota had a boyfriend. Oscar. The guy I met this morning? The one I told you about. Yes. What did he want? Answers. Reassurance. Forgiveness. Forgiveness? Do you think he killed her? Not considering what he asked me to do. What did he... What... What did he ask her to do? <laughs> oh, Violet's not there. Violet's not there. Jeez. So what did Oscar want? I feel, I feel sad for Oscar. Bronwyn said to stay away from him and the family. We're drawing too much attention to ourselves. We won't be able to finish our job. Job? Are you wearing a wire? You know why we're here. Don't make me say it. Say it. No. Stop being silly. But I want to know! Tell me! Tell me more! <laughs> oh yeah, Violet's gone. I forgot Violet was gone. Jeez. Okay, let's be Bronwyn again. Dude, they know Hi. stuff and they're not I'm telling. Bronwyn. They're I'm not telling. Bronwyn. Okay. Let's go see Lexi. I don't know who killed her yet. I I didn't see you here last night. I didn't see you here last night. What are you implying? It's just suspicious. I didn't even know the girl. You predicted her murder. Still didn't know her. Suspicious. I'm truly sorry about Dorota. I didn't really know her. I saw her pictures in the newspaper. Can't remember what for right now. For cello. For music. I don't know who it is still. For the deuce, you think you know who it is? You can tell Sam about Birmingham. Well, what can I tell Sam that you haven't already? You know Sam likes a fact check. I don't really know, Sam. But if you're sure, then I guess I'm sure. What did you tell the police you were doing last night? I told them the truth, that I was in my room. I'm not sure if they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi I've got. I kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. When should we do another reading? Looks that way. Have you been feeling possessed lately? <laughs> Why possessed? You're kidding, right? Possessed? Have we been possessed before? Dude, did like... Did somebody possess us? Oh, Bron, I'm so glad you're here. We need to talk. Yes, tell me more. Is something wrong? No one can hear us, right? I mean... I'm assuming this room isn't bugged, although knowing Violet, there's probably cameras everywhere. You think Violet's a voyeur? Probably. I don't know. She has that look about her, don't you think? Like she knows something she's not letting on. I wouldn't be surprised if there's cameras hidden in the wardrobe. <laughs> what have you got what have you got to hide? Nothing. Though I'd rather she didn't see me dancing around in my underwear. I only do that for people I love. <laughs> do you love me? Of course I do, Bron. See? That's not your underwear. Well, now that's on film. I hope you enjoyed that, Violet. 
Listen, we need to talk. Clearly that's not on the alibi. What about our alibi? I know you said it would be better if we said we were together, but lying about your alibi, that's pretty serious. Ooh. Are you sure it was a good idea? No, lying makes things worse. Then why'd you tell me to do it? We could have just told the truth. What will happen if they find out we're lying? They won't find out. We'll be arrested. Damn. They won't find it. Are you sure? I promise. I mean, I can't really that promise that. Help. We don't want her to... We don't want her to, like, not tell us things. Didn't expect you to come back. Have Come you back. Contacted Dorota. Yes. She forgives what? you. What? What did you do? Really? You actually spoke to her? Did she say anything else? Is she okay? Who killed her? It's hazy. That's all I got. Okay. That's okay. She forgives me. I guess she didn't have time to elaborate. What did he do? I'm sorry the police ignored our prediction. It's okay. Just... How did you know? How did you come up with a name and then... She's gone. She's not gone. She's waiting to pass. How could someone even get into Dorota's bed? How could someone even get into Dorota's bedroom? I think that they, the they all know way. stuff, but I don't the think that door. they, like, like it's a townhouse think she and did she's it. on the third floor. So, other than teleporting or a big ladder, that's the only way. Do you get on with Dorota's family? Not really. Especially not now. I convinced I got her into the wrong crowd or something. Am I really a bad influence? Yes. <laughs> no. No. Thanks, Bronwyn. I know it's a bit soon, but maybe we can grab coffee sometime? Wow! Just, just to chat about things. <laughs> Your girlfriend just died. Yes. That would be nice. What is he doing? What is he doing? Is he taking his shirt off? Dude, I like... like... You, How about soon? How about tonight? Your uh, girlfriend to just died! That is weird! Sure. No, you can't. I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe another time then. I don't think you should go there. You're not really a bad influence. <laughs> that's okay. I'm used to the abuse. Hey, maybe we could hang out together after all. Sure. That's great. I'll be over soon. Just got a few things to clear up here. Oh man, this is not good. No, I don't want to date. No, I didn't mean for him to come now. Jeez. Let's her so hello. This is not good. This is not good at all. Maybe we can go, uh... I'm Oscar. Go Is talk to uh, Bronwyn now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, let's visit Bronwyn as... Oh, she's still not here. Oops. Damn. Oh, no, I don't trust any of them. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the chief. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I don't think I talked to the chief with her yet, since this I'm chapter. I'm Bronwyn. Okay. 
Something's definitely up, though. Especially His since, castle. like... More unexpected pleasures. Oh, yes. What did Dorota's boyfriend say about me? Something about a message you wouldn't deliver? Did you want him to be a special friend? Is that why you killed his girlfriend? I didn't kill Dorota. Yeah, yeah, let's do this again. Chief, I didn't kill Dorota. I was in my room. Oh, but you can't prove it, Bronwyn. You're going to jail for a long, long time. He's so convinced it's her. I was nowhere near Dorota last night. You said you were with another one of the readers. All I'm saying is that Violet didn't recall seeing any of you. Because Violet's cracked Violet out of her doesn't mind. remember where she was. Did she tell you that? Hmm. She's playing with you. To get you to open up. Dude, I don't trust this police officer. I don't trust this police officer. I think a lot of them know things that they're not, like, telling. Ah, uh, he's so convinced that it's Bronwyn, though, which makes me think that it's not her. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It, it makes me think that it's not her, because it's like... Yeah, I'm thinking uh, the Chief, like, because he's Rain. so aggressive. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. So aggressive towards, like, pinning it on the tarot readers, which makes me think that it's... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hello, Oops. I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Didn't mean to go to Violet. Alright, let's see. Alright, we'll go Violet anyway. Something's up with the chief, though. I'm sorry, but I need to clean your room. That's fine. I'll wait in the lounge. And be back, say, in half an hour? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, thanks. Really? She's just leaving the room. Okay, now we're Bronwyn. Hey, hello. Sorry, I'm not used to dating so soon. I'm actually not in the mood anymore. It's okay. Oh, um, I, I wasn't sure I was thinking on doing anything, you know, physical. It's okay. We can talk, just sit on the bed. Thanks, Bronwyn. I'm still trying to make sense of it all. I noticed they've got some Earl Grey in the hallway. I know it sounds a bit rude, but I'd really like some if you wouldn't mind. Actually, I don't like leaving people alone in my room. He's trying to get something for the chief, though. He's trying to get something for the chief. Well, what if I wanted you to leave so that I could make myself more comfortable for you? Get out. I know what you're trying to do. He wants to look around. He does, because the chief told him to. Uh, I really don't think I'm ready for this. Sorry, I don't know what came over me. It's okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna go now. I, I can't do this. You know, Oscar. No, he was gonna look around for something in the room. Um, I guess I could have let him, though, and oh, what I should have did was let- Oh, I regret that now. I should have let him do it, and then I should have went to him as the chief. I, I think I screwed that up. All right. Okay, let's go back to Violet. I gotta go tell- Hello, I'm Gotta go Violet. tell her to go back to the room, I think. I'm Violet. Okay. Let's even go back. I want to look around the room. Didn't get to look around the room. I, I screwed that up, I think. I changed your sheets last night and you weren't here. That's impossible. 
I was in that room praying the entire time, and those sheets have definitely not been changed, I can assure you. Are you trying to frame me? Yes. 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 Okay, so let's go talk to Lexi. Oh, Lexi's not here. Hey, Fletcher, no one's keeping you here, dude. I'm playing this game tonight, and if you don't like it, there's always another game tomorrow. Oscar's not here. Violet. Yes. Okay. Go to my room. Gonna change into... Rain? Hello. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Okay, let's go talk to somebody. Let's go talk to Violet. Ah, Rain, can I help? Tell me who About did it. My... Was there a problem? My tap was dripping, but I fixed it. Where were you? Dripping? Maybe I was in my bedroom. She still doesn't know That's where she That's out was. of bounds to you. She's weird. You don't see many games like this? I know, it's a, it's a... I've played a couple FMV games. I The very first one I ever played was actually like don't the X-Files game rig. back in the day. By which I mean, if you see Lexi, tell her not to forget the group reading. What's the plan? We still don't know what we're dealing with. There's every chance that it could just be a normal human murder. What if it's not a normal human murder? Then we have to assume that it's some kind of traveler. A traveler from where? From where, from when? We don't even know if it is a traveler yet. Let's just get the group reading done. Maybe then we'll have some answers. Okay, so we gotta do a group reading? Who got murdered? Uh, uh, this young cellist, she was strangled in her bed. Naked, but there was no signs of sexual activity. What do you think of Sam? Oh, I'll totally hit that. <laughs> Apart from the whole investigating Bromman for murder thing, of course. But that's a minor flaw. I can work around it. <laughs> I hear Sam likes you too. Really? Well, you know, I'm not surprised. I am a total babe. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mind doing the accents? I don't even really pay that much attention to the accents. Guys, she's a total babe, right? Alright, let's go to Oscar. Oh, he's still gone? Mm. Where's the chief? The chief's gone too. So we already went to Oscar. Let's be the chief again. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Okay, we'll go back to Sam after this. Let's go talk to... All the switching is confusing. Yeah, my head's kind of blocking who I am. But oh, if I put it on the so other side, then I'll block the dialogue, so... Do I need to bring up Mr. Hedges again? Mr. Hedges? Hedges. Excuse me? Of course not. We just agreed that with the med Simon, stuff like this might get out. Remember? Nope. What stuff? You have a recognizable knock, Chief Tupin. I'll remember not to answer next time. Do you know Dorota's boyfriend? I've met him once, yes. Just the once? When did you meet him? This morning. What did you talk about? The weather and some other things which I'm not at liberty to discuss. Why Feel not? Feel free to ask him though. Okay, so he knows something. Oh, where's Rain? Where did Rain go? 
Lexi's gone too. Jeez. Let's go talk Chief to Tupon, Oscar. There's been loads of people coming around asking questions. I don't even know half of them. Did Dorota collect coins? Not that I know of. She collected thimbles. She said she didn't need any. She had hard calluses on her fingers from all the cello. Have you looked oh. in Dorota's bedroom? Not since the murder. There's still a load of my stuff in there. I climb in through the window, but it's on the third floor. I think you shouldn't visit the crime scene, just saying. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Sam. I think I talked to everybody. I think the radio is important. Let's then listen to it. Mist with street lights. I pull my hood closer, seeking anonymity, meeting no eyes as I walk. Trafalgar Square at last. So full of people, none of them knowing an almost post orgasmic lethargy fills me as I wait in the rain. By the time the night bus arrives, the high has passed, leaving me drained and depressed. And as I think about the weeks ahead of me, the paranoid wait to see if they're going to catch me this time. I pay the driver and head for the back of the bus, sit by a window and watch London go by as through the grimy glass. Then there's another long walk through the rain, the tiredness dragging. I could do without the flashing, yeah. Taut with cramp. Safe home at last. A one-bedroom flat in the most anonymous block I could find. I relax in a warm bath. I don't know. I really think the radio is just like story time sort of thing. She flaunts herself. Her body. Her boudoir photographs taken. <laughs> Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother. Who were they Ask for? Zach Weston. He took them. Oh. Zach's the local photographer. Okay. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. At Weston's photographic? Off the high road? It's late, but he's always there. Okay. How do you know that? I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. Except for you can't remember last night. <laughs> Vicar's son. No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? What's that supposed to mean? The masks we wear. I oh, okay. could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never <laughs> know. Would you, Sam? Dude, she's weird. Is it the girl who was murdered on the radio talking? No, no, it's not. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. He confided in me quite a bit, actually. He seemed to appreciate having someone to talk to, and he knew I couldn't tell anyone what he said. Oh, Sam. You know I can't do that. Tarot reader, client confidentiality. <laughs> Whatever, that is not a thing. To protect Lexi. None of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam, I, I never usually lie. I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service and I get paid by the minute. Oh. Which now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. <laughs> hey, getting paid by the minute, man. That'd be pretty cool. Just to talk on the phone and make stuff up. All right, let's go visit Ray. Sam, what can I do for you? We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. Really? Why it's a Ouija board? Lexi's thing. That's kind of I weird. don't personally go near them, but in this case, it did help. 
Yeah, Baller, you were lucky, dude. No. Lucky. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um, Tell me. Most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveller who died here. Yes. That's well, really Well, not just confusing. time travel, time and space travel is also possible. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. Okay. We're trying to save people. It's not working. <laughs> I said we're trying. <laughs> we have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them. Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travellers is... <laughs> well, let's put a pin in this one, Sam. Tell me! <laughs> well, that's just awesome, Sam. You won't mind if I check with her first, though, will you? I'll switch to her in just a minute. After we talk to Hi, Lexi. Sam. Back for more already. No, I think Bromwyn met him, though. You'd have to ask her. Or him. It's not my place to say. All right. I didn't. You I did. Now, am I in trouble? Ron was worried about me not having an alibi. She was locked in doing phone readings, so she's all right. But there's nothing to prove that I was here. I was though. Cross my heart and hope to die. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Yes. Yes. Let's see it. Cool. Okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars and space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. Okay. We're so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? <laughs> oh, you're sweet. Um, where was I? Oh, so here's my point. The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Because in the spirit oh. world, she was already dead. That's intriguing. Okay. I know. Mind blowing. Yep, we're just gonna go with it. Traveller, that's a really old role playing game, isn't it? That's not what I oh, meant. Did you now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? Cheeky. Sure. Are you flirting with me. Uh, sure. Oh dear, am I blushing again? There's a murder to solve. Maybe you should do that first, then me. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> <laughs> that came out wrong. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so let's go. It's seven o'clock, and here's the latest August update. Chief DuPont of August Police is urging residents to be vigilant tonight following the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Whilst he stresses there is no immediate threat to the community at large, residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. Miss Shaw was found strangled in her bedroom Why, home last night. Poe, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. 
Also in the news, emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue and Church Street following a collision between two cars. There are no reports of any serious injuries, but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh, no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. I'm not going anywhere. That's 7 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. So I guess we hit the next chapter. Visit Zach. All right, let's go see Zach. Sorry, we're closed. Come What's back up, tomorrow Zach? or make an appointment online. Wait, but why? Yes. Uh, what do you want? The question. I have questions. The Shores. Oh, you mean that girl who got killed? What was her name? Uh, Dorothy? Okay, he's playing dumb on purpose. I see purpose. a lot of faces in my studio, but I'm not good with names. Oh, okay. Wait. Dorota, Dorota, I remember now. For the August Chronicle. Uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello. It kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. Oh. No, I went to her house, along with the reporter. It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. If you ask me to drive there without my sat-nav, no. But it's in your sat-nav. No, actually, I've been running a special offer on portraits since she came in for a studio session. Wait there. He's got the photos? He's got the photos? Let's see. As you can see. There's photos here. They're on the cello. Yeah. Now this one's in color. Beautiful hair. Oh, legs wrapped around. <laughs> Another one here. Oh, hang on. Do you see what I see? What? What am I supposed to see? Nothing. She's just a very attractive girl. Was. That's all. She was. She dead. What do you mean? Violet needs to mind her own business. I didn't want to mention them out of respect for the dead. You've heard of boudoir photography. Do I get to see those? <laughs> Dorota saw my boudoir set and asked Bedroom me photos! Sure. Yes! It's all very tasteful. A lot of women have them done as gifts for their husbands or boyfriends. Or girlfriends, I suppose. And yeah, Envy, I am playing a game I know. And Helly, I know you were wanting free stuff for Roblox. I'm not doing Roblox stuff now. She didn't say. Her boyfriend, I assume. Um. Friends. Yes. I know Violet very well. Oh. What do you know about how? Violet yeah. Violet takes it very well, actually. Takes... I like him like that. With a frosty exterior comes a soft. Warm center. <laughs> so I'm you're sorry, my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. Yes, we have sex. Here, I'm usually here most nights. Only the roof rats. You don't have any cameras in your studio? That seems weird. How did you hear about that? Anyway, it wasn't a date. I was doing a favor for Chief Dupont. Only lasted a few minutes. That's what she said. <laughs> you working with him or not? Oh my god! Well, if you don't want to tell you, then I'm not gonna. He seems no. nervous. Who's that? That guy was a creep. Okay, so this is that guy was connected to Dorota. Took pictures of her. 
Were they sleeping together? You can tell me if she was. I don't care. Look, I mean, if you're going around asking all these questions, if you find out anything like that, I want you to tell me. Why? What difference does it make? Sure. Thanks, Sam. Don't let me mourn if I shouldn't. Who hey, what? Boudoir photos? She sent some private photos to me by foot. Do you mean them? Let's see them. I get it now. That's why you're asking about Zach Weston. Maybe I should pay him a visit. I don't think you should. I really don't think you should visit him. Let's go if you talk have to anything else on Zach Weston, let me know. And I'm all for a good boudoir picture, but who are they for? There's definitely a strong connection between those two then. That we don't know yet. Maybe they were for someone else? Well, unless well, they were for Oscar, were. I don't know. Unless there's someone else about to come out of the woodwork. I mean, Violet said she was slutty and Oscar doesn't know anything about it. Yeah, that's what he says, but no one can back him up. He's on my radar now. I, I think you're supposed to tell me that. <laughs> if he was taking photos of Dorota, maybe he fell for her? And the feeling wasn't mutual. Artists have muses, apparently. It's possible. He seems like a dick, though. I think he just likes Zach to sleep around. Zach Weston says room. he was in his studio last night. Zach says he's sleeping with Violet, which I doubt. Zach did other photo sessions with Dorota. Boudoir. I wonder what else he's not telling us. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last night. You're still following up Birmingham. Keep me posted. Yeah, I wonder about that. Traveler Travelers. Too, he's nothing. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. I don't think that it's Oscar. I still don't. All right, let's go back to the guest house. Slippery meat perk. Yeah, private photos though. Um. Yeah, oh, man. I wonder if we should. Uh... Oh, we can be him. Let's go talk to Violet, because Violet and him are sleeping together. I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. I'm a douchebag. Let's go get that worm center. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Violet. Zach. What are you doing here? Oh, quick, don't let anyone see you. Why don't you want anyone to see me? What? You're the one who said we shouldn't be seen together. What are you doing here? Oh. I wanted to make sure we were still okay. What did you do? What did you say to Sam? Everyone's talking about Dorota. All right. I know. But I suppose people like that attract trouble. What, the people terror readers? People like what? Is that why you killed her? That's not funny, Zack. What if Sam heard? Are you happy Dorota's dead? I didn't say that. But we both know what Dorota was like. She practically threw herself at you. Oh. She didn't throw herself at me. <laughs> why? The boudoir sessions. Some girls get the wrong idea. Sometimes it's just how professional, though. You. She wanted it. You saw the photos. I've seen all your photos, Zach. Okay, well, that's creepy. All of them. What's that supposed to mean? Dude. I don't like Violet. She's creepy. I can't Zach, visit Brown. let me stop you there. Um, you are <laughs> one creepy fellow. Now, I, I don't know what you had going on with Dorota, but I don't want anything to do with it. Do not come back here. Please. All right. I guess Zach is not a liked person. Let's go talk to Lexi. I mean, Lexi seems to 
Want to get some action there from Sam, so... No, can't talk to Lexi. Alright, let's go talk to... Let's go talk to Oscar. Oh, Oscar's not there! Oh, the chief's gone too. Okay, so let's switch. I already suspected Violet. The fact that she can't remember the whole evening, it's like really suspicious to me. Okay, let's go back to our room. Change to... I'm gonna change to Violet and I'm gonna go talk to Zach as Violet. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm, I'm Violet. Violet. I'm Violet. All right, let's go talk to... I wanna go talk to Zach with her because... I want to see what he says when we go there. Well, hello, gorgeous. Did you hear about Dorota? I came. Oh. I came over last night, but you weren't here. Well, that explains why there was no answer when I called you. I was definitely here. Did you? Everyone in town's heard. She's a local celebrity now. Local oh. celebrity? Violet? Of course not. I only have eyes for you. That's not what I heard. This again. I told you. I'm not seeing anyone else. I have gorgeous women in my studio all the time, but you're... Special. Special. Not because you won't take off your clothes. I'm expecting that at some point. It's just... You're so clever oh. and well-educated. And the icing on the cake. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. So he's not actually sleeping with her then. Um, because he just said, you know, that about the clothes, taking the clothes off at some point. That makes me think that he's lying. Okay, so Zach's a liar. Yeah, Zach's a liar. Okay. Dream 64, hello! I don't think I- I don't know if I can get any information out of the other guys. Alright, let's go to our room again. So, Zach's a liar. Like... Yeah. Okay, let's return to Sam. That's kinda cute. Yeah, except she's crazy. Like... She's schizophrenic. Hi, I- <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief I'm gonna DuPont. go question Zach with Chief DuPont. Alright. What is about? We're trying to solve a- we're trying to solve a murder. We're a shape-shifting detective. We're trying to solve a murder. Hello. I know you. You're the police chief. You're smart. I understand that you knew Dorota Shaw. We met briefly, yes. I freelanced for the August Chronicle, and they did a story about her. Was that the first time you met her? As far as I know. I meet a lot of people through work. Some are more memorable than others. I happened to mention my portrait services, so she booked a session with me. Why is he when being all like... Why did the music just go creepy? A few weeks ago. What type of photos do you take? For the paper. Record shots that any idiot with a phone can take. My studio is where the magic happens. Mainly portraiture, but I dabble in other areas. Boudoir photography? Sometimes, if that's what the client wants. Are you asking for yourself, or...? It's for the case. It's for the case. Of course. All right. Chief? Again? Again? Did Dorota have any online friends? She didn't really use any social networks. Didn't have the time. Mainly just cello, cello, cello. Go to any clubs or groups? Do you have access to her email? No, she didn't email much. She checked the messages on her phone. What is it you're looking for? Anything that helps solve the murder. Okay. I want to know that more. Makes sense. Well, that was super helpful. That was super helpful. 
dude. And so this is a game we're trying to solve a murder. We're trying to solve a murder right now. Can't talk to her. Um, don't think we can talk to Bronwyn either. What about Rain? Rain is gone too. Jeez, everybody's gone. Lexi? Radio? Calm. Every smile, every restful night. He tainted all of it. There was nothing left. Such a creepy radio. And now it was just a waiting game. Until she got to her lonely, nearly empty home every night. Night after night. When she finally had enough. Enough of the burning in her chest, the weight on her shoulders, the pain from the demon's whispers so around her hollowed out heart. He gave her a moment of peace. She made her decision and the resolve soothed the scratches in her throat. She tried to reach out in that subtle human way. Of course she did. That's just nature. She knew where this sickness was going as easily as she could see the light at the end and she was afraid as much as calm. Take my ring, she'd say. I know I love it, but I don't need it anymore. When I'm gone, Mom will take care of my cat. No one will miss me anyway. No one heard her. They never do. All humans don't want to die. But more than that, Humans don't want to be in pain. So she wow. succumbed to the sickness. Or tried at least. Girls almost never get it right on the first try. Her red hair fanned out around her pillow. They're talking as she about her. Back, holding the bottle above her. Note on the pillow beside her. Her final bedfellow. Pills don't hurt, right? She'd been like this that day rationalizing to the demon parasite in her heart. Of course they don't. You'll sleep and it'll be over. What's it matter anyway? Yeah. And the bottle opened in her hands. It'll be over. It'll be over. No longer a burden. No more pain. No more. No I love the more. voice. But of course there was more. Pills don't work very well. She'd only gotten sick, was taken to the hospital before the pills tore apart her liver. The doctors, the ones who cared enough to see the signs, helped her, or tried at least. Damn. And the demon was quieted for a while, until he wasn't. More time and the girl tried again. Nothing. Wow. So they're talking about like she attempted suicide. And it said the girl with the red hair, so I don't know. It could be uh, Violet. It could be um, Dorota. It could be one of the two. But I really like the uh, the narration there for the radio voice. It's really good. All right, let's go to our room, and I'm going to switch people. I can only be these people now? Hello. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. All right. Let's go talk to, uh... Let's go talk to them. Okay. Um, Bronwyn? Bronwyn? Let's go. Let's go talk to Bronwyn. And yeah, the stories are really creepy. Where did she go? She's gone too? Lexi's gone too! What on earth? Rain! <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here. I take it you know about Dorota already. Okay, he knows All that him. stuff we talked about yesterday. That's strictly between you and me. What stuff? What stuff? That's the spirit. Now, I think it's best if we don't get caught speaking to each other. Overcautious, I'm sure, but I think it's for the best nonetheless. Maybe we can get together for a lad's night out after this is all blown over. Yeah? What? Okay. No. Oh. Great. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> what? Okay. Wow. He knows something. He knows something. 
Chief's gone. But no, yeah, Delisa dinner was good. I, I enjoyed my dinner. Okay, let's go back to our room. Switch to... Okay, we can't be rain anymore. Um... I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? I wonder if we can visit... Oh, yeah, that's what it could be rain, because we just were just him. Okay, I'm gonna... I don't know, let's return to Sam, actually. I want to go talk to Zach. He knows Rain. And I want to go see what that's about. I met him yesterday. Doing the rounds. Looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh, no. Um, he did mention the rota. He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. Said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was the rota Shaw. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I bet he is. It was that thing I told you about Dorota. I mean, I didn't know it was her then. He wanted to show me these explicit photos of her. But I refused, and that's when he told me about her being alone on Mondays. I wonder who else he told that to. Dude. Fine, Sam. That's creepy. Birmingham. Mercury took us to Birmingham. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. Baller, don't trade it. We turned up. It started They'll with a girl, you. Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. Think? Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. Three, to be exact. The Traveller wanted three. You should ask Bronwyn. She's the one that knows about rights. I just know it normally involves three, and all three share a common attribute. I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. Oh, that's they what come Bronwyn. from other worlds. Bronwyn was possessed before. Some religions that's what he was talk asking. of demons, but they don't actually exist. Uh, travelers can get inside us and make it look like we're possessed. Hence the demons. Yes. Damn. Disturbingly. Uh, it's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines intersect. They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. So you think the yes, murderer is traveler? probably. Okay. The tarot doesn't just sat nav us to normal murders. Okay, so it's some sort of traveler. Let's go visit Bronwyn. <sighs> Sam, look, I, I can't talk right now. I'm doing phone readings. Got to pay for a job somehow. Lexi's locked in till late too. I, I can sort you out afterwards, yeah? All right. Well, at least she's in her room. She didn't disappear. It's Lexi. Lexi's right here. We've got to stop meeting like this. Seriously though, Sam, I'm working. Can't it wait? Just give me to wait, okay? So she's doing readings as well. Okay, let's go talk to Violet. Uh, do we really have to? Yes. Yes. How vulgar. Yes. I suppose that is what he'd say. But I've never let him lay a finger on me. He says we're in a relationship, but he doesn't act like it. He thinks he's irresistible to women. <laughs> he did seem pretty co cocky there. No. What the? Why is there a little girl? <laughs> oh, 
okay. That just got creepy. What the? Oh my god. Who was that little kid? Okay, let's go see. It's 8 o'clock and time for another August update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Still Ms. Shaw's been, strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last night in what the chief is calling a puzzling crime. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't that what they say? But that poor boy. A reminder also that due to the murder, this weekend's tulip festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. So if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket. Or a cap. Or wear the jacket in the cap. That's 8 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I, I still don't think it's the Oscar. So he he doesn't seem like it. I've got news. What? We've done a reading. A three-person reading? Okay, the Mercury reading? Sure. Uh-oh. The Five of Swords. That's the same card as yesterday. That's not good. Ten of Swords? Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. This doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of putting all three again? One in 474,552. Damn. <laughs> I know. I get asked a lot. Better the Ten of Swords. Damn. It's happening again. <laughs> There's gonna be another murder. Then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Ellis Monroe. Monroe on the radio? You must be Sam. That's the radio person. She's also a redhead? We just got off the phone with Chief DuPont. I can't believe it. First Dorota, now me. Yes, we were friends. I hadn't known her for long, only a few weeks. We met at the gala. I was hosting and she was playing the cello, you know? I guess we talked for a little while and then she asked me for a drink after the show. She seemed hesitant when she said we were friends. Makes me think there was after more. After we had a few drinks, she invited me back to her house. I thought we were just gonna chat, watch a movie, that sort of thing. Then she kissed me. I was so shocked. She was so attractive. So, I kissed her back. This is just between us, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. We fooled around. I don't have many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely, but Dorota was my friend, and I liked making her happy. So she's a giver. All right. I'm not going into detail, Sam. <laughs> we pledged each other <laughs> multiple times. I guess that's all the details we're going to get. All right. Ask her. Yeah. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't, she didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind, but she did. So I told her if he wanted to get sexual, then maybe she should try something else. Something else? I said some guys like to watch. So tell him it would be sexy if he could look, but he couldn't touch. As far <laughs> as I know, it worked. 
All right. The killer was in her wardrobe? What? Well, then it had to be Oscar. He's the only one it could be. How do you figure? That doesn't Oscar. make any sense. Then she was seeing someone else? No. Someone she knew. Knew she'd be alone? A stalker? I don't think so. We were very discreet. It was more fun that way. No. Sorry. I did have a strange dream last night, though. I was a Hollywood actress, and there were hundreds of magazines and newspapers all piling up on the red carpet, and they all had my picture on the front cover. But the red carpet wasn't carpet. It was a pool of blood. Oh, great. And it seeped through all the pages. Then I woke up. That's a pretty twisted dream. What do you think that means, Sam? You were dreaming about your own death. I don't know we'll why. Anxious. I mean, I'm anxious, anxious now. Maybe, maybe it was predicting Dorota's death. Or mine. Yeah. Maybe. I can't guarantee I can protect her. Or let me get hurt. I'll try my best. I Not can't make any well. promises, though. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe. To promote the show. No. Zack keeps asking, but I just don't want to. Not for him, but Dorota did. She gave me the pictures as a gift. Oh, they're for her. She looked amazing. Pictures were for her. We're co hosts right. on the radio. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know that already. Um, we've been partners for two years now. He's a good friend. You go talk to Poe? Can't we be both, Sam? Poe's his radio name. He's actually John Poe. He's on air now, but you can come back at 8.30 if you want to see him. All right. On air. We both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. Okay. I wonder who wants to kill the killer. Oh, dude, that scared me. <laughs> Sam, you forgot your phone. How did I forget my phone? Didn't even take out my phone. All right, so we just talked to Ellis. I wonder if we should, uh, let's go talk to the chief really uh, quick. Sam, do me a favor, go easy on Violet. If we need to get anything out of her, let me deal with it. She'll open up to me. Okay, so be be him to talk to her. All right, let's we recap what we know. Target. Ellis Monroe. I don't think it's Ellis, Ellis but yeah, she, she's in a relationship she's with Dorota. Target now. She kissed a girl and she liked it. <laughs> she told you where John Pope or Poe is going to be next. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. You say Bronwyn and Lexi's alibis don't add up. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. And he keeps asking Ellis to pose nude. Could be motive. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. I still don't think it was Oscar. Ah, <laughs> Remy. Oh, man. All right, let's go back to the guest house. I'm going to go talk, or I'm going to go switch into Ellis, and we're going to go talk to uh, Zach as Ellis. You're only alive because we want you to be. Whoa. What is that supposed to mean? Hi, I'm Ellis. I'm Hi, Ellis. Ellis. Okay, let's go talk to Zach, because he wants us naked. So we're going to go talk to Zach. But he's not here. Okay. 
neither is Oscar. And neither is Chief. Okie dokie. Guess we're not going to talk to those people. Because we just unlocked Ellis. So, I feel like we got to talk to somebody. Everybody's gone. And brought- oh, wow. Okay. Is that at least rain there? Nope. Nope. Nobody wants to talk to Ellis. Not a single person wants to talk to Ellis. Wow. Okay. Let's go to our room for a minute. Guess we don't need to be Ellis. But he did say that Violet would open Hi, up the chief. Mm. So we're gonna go... Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Uh, we're a shape- Sam's a shapeshifter. We're a shapeshifter. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go talk to Violet, because he sure. said Violet would open up. Violet, there's been a UFO sighted on a night that you can't remember. What does that have to do with anything? Shh. Lord, I told you never to speak about this. Wait. So you think it's real? I need you to tell Sam what happened. It'll help. Help what? Me? She cray cray. She cray cray. About it. She cray cray. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So that was the detective. Okay, let's go see. I'm gonna go back to our room for a sec. I'm gonna go switch to Zach and see if we can go talk to Ellis. I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. Yeah. Okay, let's go talk to, uh... Let's go see if we can talk to Sam and Violet. Or not Sam, Alice, I mean. Zach? What are you doing here? I've been a naughty boy. I need to tell my previous partners. Good to know. I'm not one of them, though, so... Unless there's anything else? Pose for me. Zach, please stop asking. It's not gonna happen. Just uh, undo a few buttons, yeah? <laughs> Are you bullying me into taking my clothes off for you? <laughs> That's sleazy. Just leave, Zach, before I call Chief DuPont. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go back and talk to Violet. Oh, yeah. Let's go talk to you, Violet. What? I need to what talk hatchback? about Ellis Monroe. What have you been doing with Ellis Monroe? What haven't I been doing? What have you heard? The tarot readers have predicted that she's the next victim. Do you think we should do something? Something Want how? To fool around? Is that really all you think about? It's starting to look like August has a serial killer targeting redheads. Look at my hair, red hair, Zach. Does this look red to you? Yeah, but it's dyed. Your brows are not. <laughs> Clearly dyed. All right. She'll probably be the third target. She probably will be. Okay. I was going to say frames are because they met each other before, so... Could be Sam Cena has become everyone else. He could be. He could be. I don't know. Let's go to our room, though. I'd like to be Bronwyn again and see if we could talk to Rain. Hi. I'm Bronwyn. Because Rain I'm knows stuff Bronwyn. about Birmingham. Okay, let's go talk to See if we can talk to him. Okay, let's visit Rain. Oh, nothing to say. What about Oscar? Because he he wanted to hook up with us before. Wait, we can actually visit Ellis? Oh, we can. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Get out now before I call the police! Why did we just go into her house? Did you, don't you knock at the door? Jeez. Oh, Zach's not here. Oscar was nice, though. Oscar liked us. Okay. 
Well, maybe Lexi's there? Maybe we can talk to Lexi? Ron, what are we gonna do about Ellis? What would you do about Ellis? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Let's think. What have we tried before? A few times we've caught up with the Traveller. Nothing's worked. Restraining them? Talking to them? Please don't kill that person. <laughs> okay, thanks. Oh no, look, you killed them anyway. <laughs> that doesn't work, Ron. <laughs> Please don't kill that person. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, I guess we can talk to the other ones. Okay, let's go back to our room, switch to a... Uh... Maybe we can switch to Violet. I'm gonna go talk to the chief. Hello, I'm Violet. Maybe I'm we can get some more information Violet. out of Zach. Or like, the chief. Maybe we can go visit Ellis too? All right, let's talk to Zach Hello, first. Lovely. Take a look at this. It's a picture of Dorota. Okay. I don't want to see pictures of your conquests. It's not like that. It's just a press photo. Do you see anything in it? A girl holding... What do you see? Just my mind playing tricks, I guess. Sometimes when I drink enough and I'm alone enough, I can... Step into them. How so? Kay. Step into them. That's it's like weird. A the pictures become three-dimensional and I can move around inside them. Like virtual reality, but real. Is he a traveler? The picture comes alive when I'm inside it. Things move around they talk that's really really i feel like he's a traveler if what that's do the they case say? in this one it's just a rotor so i'm in her living room she says that she should have been nicer to me and i should make her be nice you're you're insane Oh, you're, you're insane. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm just messing with you, Violet. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. Guess it didn't work on you. No, he seems like he was being serious. He seemed like he was being serious. Oh, Alice isn't here. Uh-huh. Chief's not here either. And Oscar's not here. Dude, something's up, though. He didn't seem like he was joking. He seemed like he was being, like, legit serious. So, yeah, he was dead serious. Um, that makes me, like, suspect him even more. Did you order this? He asked. His voice sounded shakier than usual. Didn't I mention it? She started pulling at the fur. She hadn't mentioned it. Ivan would have remembered. He lay down and closed his eyes, listening to her tearing the kitten's skin. Thanks, babe. I've heard enough tearing the kitten's skin. Okay, let's not listen to that. <laughs> okay, let's go to our room. Okay, so. Go be Lexi? I'm gonna be Lexi. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um... <clears throat> I'm Lexi. Okay. See if we can talk to uh, Rain or. Oops, I didn't mean to switch. Hello. Didn't mean to I'm switch. Rain. That was a mistake. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Switch back to Lexi. I didn't mean to switch. That was an accident. Hi, I'm Lexi. Something's weird though. Like, so it seemed like he was a traveler. I'm That's Lexi. what it legit seemed like. But then, like, Rain had said in the past to uh, Bronin, Bronwyn about... Lexi Corn. how thin are these walls? What do you mean the walls are thin? I can hear you screaming at your Ouija board. Last night too. I feel like I've heard your whole life story. Oh. What did 
to Sam like me. Is Violet a lesbian? Will Ellis die? Will Bromwyn die? That last one, don't worry about that. Because you're immortal. What? Oh, hi. I am Bronwyn McLeod from the Clan McLeod, and I am immortal, you silly badger. Okay. But she said not to worry about the last one, but why not her? Just because she's not redheaded? Or for some other reason? Our job is so stressful. Tell me about it. Chasing around the unknown, trying to triumph good over evil, Generally standing around helpless watching people die. Why do we do it? For me? It's a common decency thing. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Did you know the Earth was overrun by transdimensional evil? <laughs> Want to help fix it? Sure. That's kind of funny. Transdimensional evil? I'll read yep. the manual, Lex. People are afraid of ghosts, zombies and aliens. They never even think to consider the possibility that there are millions of universes, potentially with millions of predators, all far more evolved than we are. What are our chances of victory? Minuscule. That's pretty but optimistic. if we don't fight at all, zero. Eh, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Okay, let's see if we can... Do we visit Violet? Hi, Violet. Hi, Violet. She doesn't want to talk to us, though. At least she was there. Okay, let's go talk to Oscar. Ah, oh, Oscar's still not here. I think he just wants to talk to certain people. Sorry, we're closed. Unless you're here for something else. <laughs> I'm a friend of Dorota's. Dorota? I'm sorry about what happened. Dorota told me things about you. Things? That's ominously vague. I'm not sure what you mean. That you take really good photos. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Lexi. Lexi? I like it. It's got an edge. Dude, this guy is Jersey so says thirsty. She knew you. I know what you did. Jota says she knew you. Yeah, she had a portrait session with me. Can I get you a drink? No, Is he gonna roofie me? Sure. Maybe he'll tell us more if we get a drink. I wonder if he's gonna roofie us. <sighs> After the whole traveler bit, man, I don't tr I don't trust this guy. I can just go into the photos and it's real. Creepy. Here, I've only got vodka. You're old enough to drink, right? Of course. He only has vodka? Does it matter? <laughs> nope, I guess not. I like you already. You're dating Violet, aren't you? I know what you did to Dorota. You're dating Violet, aren't you? I know- I didn't do anything to Dorota. You killed her. You seduced her. You make it sound so sordid. Dorota didn't do anything she didn't want to. You're dating Violet, aren't you? No, we're just friends. Oh! That's not what you told Sam. That's not what Violet thinks. Violet doesn't always see things clearly. It's fine. I know how to handle her. What do you mean, Dude. handle her? I know how to talk to her. She's a sweetheart when you get to know her. This guy, man. Okay. Chief's not here. Albino, how's it going so far? We're trying to solve the crime. I'm still not even close to sure who's done it. I have no idea. I feel like Ellis is probably gonna get killed. Actually, did we? Yeah, we couldn't go about this else, okay. And okay, let's go back to Sam. I think I think I did the other ones. 
Okay, go to my room. Let's go back to Sam. And go back, talk to them again. Yeah, I just... Oh, they're all freaking liars, man. The only one, like, I don't think did it is Hello, Oscar. I'm Violet. Oops. I'm why did I... Violet. I didn't mean to click that. Return to Sam. Return to Sam. Yeah, Violet... Violet does that right here. I think she'll... I think after Alice gets killed, if Alice gets killed, then we'll have to... What is with this kid? Excellent work. Gold star for you. <laughs> Oh, hello. This is my goddaughter, Sophia. She's only nine, and she's a maths genius. Hello. <laughs> I have to pop to my room to get something. Be nice to her while I'm gone. Otherwise, I might have to smother you in your sleep. Because that's something you say in front of children. What's your name? I'm Sophia. Pleased to meet you. Do you want to know a secret? Yes. Violet was taken by aliens in their ship. She doesn't want anyone to know. Sorry about that. Sophia, <laughs> your mother will be here for you soon, so run along and wait. She was abducted by aliens. Now, Sam, how can I help you? <sighs> I don't really want to. I don't want to get Sophia in trouble. Tell me. About a month ago, the guest house was empty and I was alone in my bedroom. All I could hear was dripping. Cold tap. Drip. 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 And then it began. I could smell iron. A strong, metallic smell. Then I could taste it. On my tongue. And then weightlessness. Like time and space had stopped. That was the first time they took me. She's schizophrenic. She's on clozapan. It's happened five times. Even on clozapine. Clozapine, sorry. That strange aura then I'm gone. By tests for epilepsy, amongst other things. But all the scans were normal. No. I have certain flashbacks. Jeez. It's difficult to explain. I'm stuck in the wall of an enormous room made from these wooden vines, except the vines slowly move and drip with pain. My head is pushed out like I'm a trophy. Oops, I forgot I to look change to that. Side, there are others, <laughs> heads, all prisoners, being experimented on. Yeah, Roblox Daniel, thank you for the sub. Don't appreciate it. Welcome to the family. They rearrange us like decorations. Suck us backwards into the darkness and then thrust us back through the wall. And when they return me home, I'm broken. Cuts. Bruises. Memories. Damn. Of course. Poe and Monroe. She's on the radio. <laughs> Have you met her? Yes, I believe I did. She was here once for something. I don't remember now. Okay, I don't want to talk about Sophia and aliens. I don't want to get Sophia in trouble. Because we just heard about the aliens from the bluff that we did. So I don't think that we need to... Need to bring up Sophia. All right, let's see. I've heard on the radio, but other than that, I don't know anything about her. I want to help, though. Amy, thank you for the raid. Hello, Amy Desenda. Hello, Vidalia. 
Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Alpha King. Hello, Alex. And That's Jasmine. That's a million-dollar question, isn't it? Although we can be sure of one thing. Yeah, she sounded blonde on the radio, but Mercury called her as a redhead. So weird. A little bit. What did you want to know? Funny scheming, hello! Yeah, Demon Spawn, hello! Welcome, guys, welcome! A right can take many forms, but from what we know about these travelers, it seems to be performing some kind of coming of age ceremony. Yes. A rite of passage. A running havoc in our dimension is rewarded in theirs. Oh. Not fair, is it? <laughs> no. Three is a powerful number. There's a divine balance to it in our universe anyway. But maybe it doesn't mean anything where the traveler is from. Maybe three is just the carry-on limit for interdimensional travel. That's kind of weird. Ooh, I probably shouldn't talk about the coin. No. I can do a reading if you want. Do a reading. Nine of Cups. This is a very positive card. Is Zach a suspect? Something feels wrong. He's too smug, too self-congratulating, like he's got away with something. I feel like he's just a douchebag. I don't like this, Sam. I don't like this one bit at all. I don't want to talk about the coin. I don't want to bring that up. All right. Awesome Tiger, hello. Corrupted Rage, hello. Yes, of course. Anything. Why Violet? Do you think she's in danger? You don't think she's involved, do you? I think she's in danger. Leave it with me, I'll see what I can find out. And don't worry, I'll be super discreet. Ah, you're just awesome. Ah. Uh... Was it a gold coin? Should I lie? I'm gonna say no. Good. That would have been worrying. Travelers leave all sorts of marks on their victims. It's basically showing off that they belong to that traveler. If you find those coins on someone, though, that could be pretty damning. Okay, so I told her that it wasn't gold, but that there was coins. So, cause, cause we don't want the killer to know that we know it's a gold coin. Yes. I met her at the radio station. I was offering my services. Earning a living is tricky when you travel around as much as we do. And last time I checked, Violet wasn't offering us room and board for free. Tell me more about Birmingham. In Birmingham, it was a man called Yuri Harris. He worked as a butcher. He beheaded all three girls within hours of each other. Wow. And we couldn't stop it. He pleaded not guilty for reason of temporary insanity. Because he said he'd see us again. In August. Before we even knew it was a month and a place. Jeez. That makes me think it is a traveler, though. So what's Talk the news about Alice? I feel so useless sitting here. I want to help. Yes, please use me. Tell me what to do. Ooh. Oh, the Ouija board or Zach Weston? I'm gonna go send Who's her to that? Zach. Is he a suspect? I guess he must be. Okay, I'm on the case. Just give me a minute to get ready and I'll be off. Hopefully she doesn't get killed. What do you think of the acting? Um, some of it's pretty spotty, some of it's not very good, and then some of it's actually not bad. I really think Violet's probably the best that they have. 
Uh, I actually like Violet. She feels probably more genuine than the others. Let's see. Hail a cab. Visit Alice again? Okay, no. Monroe. Everyone knows her. She's a local radio star here. Zach is a creep, I know. I always get the shot, Sam. One way or another. So she actually denied st stuff. And, and when I proposed to Zach, he... She, like, was like, get out of my house, you're a creep. Um... So, I think he's a stalker. I, I don't know. Something, something's off about Zach. I just, I don't know. The whole, like, thing with him going into the photos and stuff. It just, it's very creepy. We've got a new target. Alice Monroe. Alice said she was in a relationship with Dorota. She kissed a girl and she liked it. I already she saw told this. you where John Pope or Poe is going to be next. Though. Rain still says he was praying in his room. Alone. You say Bronwyn and Lexi's alibis don't add up. Rain's confirmed he met Alice at the radio station. Picking his next victim, maybe? Lexi's doing some investigating for you. As if that'll help. Rain told you about the Butcher of Birmingham. It's a thing. Made an interesting read. Those tarot readers hang out with death. His explanation of it? It's all fairy tales, so I'm not getting involved. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. And he keeps asking I Ellis still to don't pose trust him. nude. Could be motive. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Okay. Okay, let's go switch people. It changes murder each time. Does it? All right, let's see. Let's go check the radio. With the bones of 17 children. Oh. It was discovered just over a decade ago after a sudden sinkhole in the graveyard exposed the well's creepy. contents. I want to meet Poe. I like his voice. That's quite a history. It that sounds awful. It's quite creepy. Poe's curiosity shop is now renounced. Welcome to Poe's Curiosity Shop. So creepy. Uh, no, Fletcher. No. Emily, hello! Alright, let's go, let's go switch people. Alright, who should we be? I don't exactly Hi, know, I, <clears throat> know who I need to talk to. Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Oh, it picks from three different people? Huh, I wonder who it's gonna be then. Alright, let's let's go talk to everybody. Oh, congratulations, Emily. Cat Maze, hello. Uh PayPal or credit card, yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of just going to go click through people because I'm not sure exactly. Chief, what, what a surprise to see you again. Why didn't you tell me Ellis was next? I told you Dorota was first. And that didn't turn out very well, did it? Let's hope Sam does a better job than you did. Jeez, that's kind of harsh. I mean, it, you know... the. If someone came to you and said the tarot card said that so and so is gonna die, like you probably wouldn't believe it either. Let's go visit Ellis. Chief Dupont. Thanks for calling in. No problem. At the moment, my heart's beating a thousand times a minute and I can't sit still. Every noise or knock on the door makes me jump out of my skin and I keep looking behind me. Is that safe? <laughs> Have I ever What's really worrying you? That you're just saying you're doing things when you're not actually doing anything. What's the plan, Chief Dupont? How do we stop this from happening? How do we stop me from dying? 
Well, I mean, everybody dies. Let's go visit Zack. Chief, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, is it about the... What did you... Am I still a suspect? Yeah. No. Okay. Good. Listen, I think I might get out of this place soon. I need some space. Uh... Yeah. So it's true then? Yes, the photos are real. I haven't seen them. I'm sorry. It's all tasteful stuff. Maybe a gift for you. I have... I'm just in shock. All the time. How, how could she be so different? I just can't process it all. I wonder... I think we already tried to be Ellis and we tried to go visit Oscar. Shima's lagging a little. Uh, try refreshing it. Um, let's go to our room. Go Oscar. I'm gonna go to Oscar to Alice. I don't I'm think I've done Oscar. that. Is there anything else I can do? It could be the person you least suspect. You're you're absolutely right. I don't know who it is yet. Let's go see if you can visit Ellis. Oscar, I'm so sorry. What can I do? Were you seeing Dorota? Oscar. It's so much more complicated than that. Simple yes or no. Why didn't you save her? Is it really? Tell me. Oscar, I didn't mean to hurt anyone. That's not who I am. I go out of my way to help people. To be kind to them. So were you helping or being kind? <laughs> I had feelings for her, Oscar. You should understand that. I'm sorry this is how you had to hear it. But... Maybe she didn't tell you because she was leaving me. I don't know. I'm sorry. I truly am. I forgive you. You want to make it up to me? <laughs> How? Maybe if I knew what Dorota saw in you, it'd help. What do you mean? <laughs> we should sleep oh. together. <laughs> That's fair. I'll just freshen up, and you can put it in me. You're kidding, right? She's gotta be just when kidding. When I think of Dorota's cold, okay. lifeless <laughs> body that way, at least one of us is still thinking of her. You can go now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, no, she can't, no. Okay, that makes sense. She just leaned him on. All right. That was cold, though. Well, I think if Oscar, cold, good. Lifeless you got my message. Me. Got some things to show you. What have you got? Does um this mean anything to you? That's Dorota. And what if I show Captain you Captain Obvious? This. Ellis Monroe. Do you know her? She's from the radio. And if I do this? Anything? Wow! <laughs> That'll be all. You can go now. What the hell? This chief. Wow. That wasn't cool. I. <laughs> oh, Violet's gone. I'm so sure, though. That the chief did that. Like, how unprofessional is that chief? Alright. Everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. Alright, let's go switch. Okay. I'm gonna go talk Hi. to Oscar with I'm Alice. I'm Alice. Okay, let's go talk to uh, Oscar as Alice. Hey, sorry I slept with your girlfriend. Hope you're not mad. Oh, he's not here. 
Neither is he. Everybody's gone! There's the guest house. Play Zach. I'll do Zach after. I'm just gonna go through the characters with uh, Ellis first. Just make sure there wasn't anything I missed. Visit Rain. I'm sure Lexi's gone too, but we'll click anyway. Yeah. Alright, let's go back to our room. Go to room. Okay, so... Dude... We're gonna try Zach. I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. Alright, let's go. We already went to Alice with him. Yeah, we already went there. And, uh, she told us, like, called some creepy trolls to get out. Chief's gone too. Okay. I'm assuming that all the others are gonna be gone too. I need to trigger something, though. I think we should break up. Why do you want to break up? I don't love you. I'm cheating on you. With who? Dorota. Lexi. I mean, Lexi is supposed to be, uh... I thought so. Well, Dorota isn't here anymore. That's the curse of sleeping with you, obviously. How dare you- Wow! Um... Okay... She- I'm Lexi. Alright. So let's go back. I don't know, something's up with Violet. I like her though. I don't know, if, if I feel like it could be anybody. At least they're here when we visit them. But we can't talk to them. Okay. Alice is gone. Zach. Can't talk to Zach. Really? Can't even talk to Zach? Oscar's not there. Redhead is fleeing. Dude, Violet clearly dyes her hair. Those eyebrows, those are so brown. Alright, let's go switch to... Rain! Hello. Awesome, Zoe! Thanks for sticking around. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I mean, it could be a kind of gamer girl. It could be. I don't know yet. There's like so many like motives. Who is Sophia? You saw her, did you? She's my goddaughter. At that age where she overshares. <laughs> I can't visit her yet, what though. What makes you say that, Rain? Is there something about her aura? Okay. What is it, Rain? I have a plan. You do? Enlighten me. Maybe Ellis should stay with us. With our track record. If she gets killed anywhere near us, we'll be sent to jail, whether we did it or not. That's cold. I'm just being practical. Ellis's fate is in our hands. Ours isn't. I mean, I don't think... That, I, I don't trust the police officer. I, I really mean. don't. Did you miss me while I was gone? So. I'm honestly not going to try and worry about this one. We've told Sam, and I think that's all we can do. Really? Well, what? I believe Sam is going to save Ellis. How? According to the Ouija, this could play out in a lot of different ways, but mostly saving Ellis. How? Tell me how. What? Ellis could run, 
Ellis could die, Ellis could be saved, mistaken identity, someone else dies. There's a lot of noise coming from the beyond, but it's not just a load of voices saying Ellis will die. Sam's got this. She's putting too much faith in me. Uh, probably not, Zoe. Probably not. Okay, um, should we hail a cab? Did we already try to visit them? Haven't you done enough predicting my death? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just kidding. I know it's not your fault. Well, unless you're the killer. How are you? <laughs> Have you made a decision about the show? I think it's a no. Sorry. It's just the reading that you gave me the other day. I don't want to scare off the audience. Why would I scare off your listeners? They don't want to hear talk of death and darkness. Well, they do, if it's in a story. But you can't tell them they're going to die. Jeez. I said you were going to die? You didn't say you're going to die, just like that. But I remember the death card. And the devil. And you said it was... What was the word you used? My challenge. That... I needed to die so I could be free from my chains. That's I know you said it doesn't mean weird. literal death, but maybe it does. That's weird. Okay. Zach's not there. Okay. Let's go back to the guest house. I'm gonna go switch to somebody else. All right, go to our room. Let's go, uh, Bronwyn. We haven't been her in a while. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Turtle server, hello. Okay, let's go visit Violet. Do you believe Tara can predict things now? I'm not one for mystics and crystal balls. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> it says you're lying about your alibi. Oh, I suppose it has a 50-50 chance of getting it right. <laughs> She's so cynical, I love it. You're getting a headache. I'm sorry to hear that. Go what take a, a rest. Day. Ellis Munro, then. Looks like our traveller likes redheads. I wouldn't be so sure. Should we be worried about Violet? Maybe. She thinks she was abducted by aliens. Then that possibly means she's already been a traveler target. What else did she say? Something about being in a row of heads. So they're killing That's us for weird. sport. Sounds about right. Great. Great. Yeah, Violet's I think the best actor, for sure. Can't talk to her. Okay, let's go talk to Alice. Oh, Alice isn't here. All right, sounds good, Fletcher. See you later. Good night, dude. The chief. Chief's not here either. Yeah, happy birthday, Alpha King. I typed it in Discord already, but happy birthday, man. Guys, it's Alpha King's birthday. Let's go to our room and switch to... I think the last person we have to try is Violet. I think I've done everybody else. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Okay. I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Bronwyn's gone. I bet you're raining Lex you're gone too. Yeah. I'll go visit... Uh, I think I already tried to visit Zach. I think Zach was gone too. Then we'll switch back to Sam. Alice is gone. Damn, that was a really big close up on Zach's face. Sheesh. And she's gone. Okay, so I think we got all we can get without uh, going back to Sam. So I'm going to go back to Sam. Turn to Sam. Okay. 
We're Sam. Okay. Visit Zach. Oscar. Oscar said he was going to be, like, leaving town because we didn't suspect him. Hey, Chief. We've already said what we know. I don't want to hear it again. Not till the next chapter. So we'll go talk with, uh, all the hotel guests. She has a wicked imagination for her age. I was seeing and hearing things that weren't there. That's why I'm taking pills. At least she's honest about it. I needed to confide in someone, so I told Chief Dupont. Just Chief Dupont. And now you, apparently. Why are you talking about this again? You understand, every time you mention abduction, it opens up a vault of crushing memories that I'd rather stay locked up. Jeez. No. Not even the moon. Well, that's a weird thing to say. That was a weird thing to say. Nothing from her. Nothing from Rain. Oh! Yeah. She asked for a sample reading. To show what I could do. <laughs> <laughs> but you gave bad news and she didn't like that. It's easy to see now, with the benefit of hindsight. Three of Swords, the Devil, Death. I mean, any tarot reader will tell you that death hardly ever means real physical death. But given what we've learned... So it does mean death. All right, let's talk to Lexi. Nothing from Lexi. Radio so August. Rita's got anything. Dark night. They all sound Owen sketchy, Monroe. dude. Open at Midnight by Martin Oten, read by Lacey Finley. The old. All right. They were gonna start a new story. It's nine o'clock, and you're listening to Radio August. Investigations into the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw are continuing this evening. Miss Shaw was found dead in her home at approximately 10 p.m. last night, in what police are describing as a puzzling case. Residents are urged to be cautious until the perpetrator is caught. I cannot stress this enough, August. Stay safe out there. You mean the world to me. In other news, Monroe has been detained on urgent business, so you're stuck with me until she returns. Never fear, Monroe fans. We still have lots of pre-recordings, so you can relax with her angelic tones. <laughs> That's nine o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Ah. Let's visit Poe. You're the detective. Monroe just called. I did not this expect you to look like that from your voice. Who would want to hurt her? We've worked together for years. She's the light to my shade, the angel to my demon, the diamond to my lump of coal. She told me to say all those things. <laughs> I believe not. She has a big heart, and in my opinion, opens it too easily. Only a madman, or woman. Monroe is August's sweetheart. Poe and Monroe, that was her idea. Our show. We were just another local radio station before that. It was Monroe who decided we should have a theme. Dark nights with Poe and Monroe. Don't tell me you haven't heard it, detective. That's what the free radio <laughs> is all about. Hey, Josh, thank you for the sub, dude. Uniting August via the airwaves. Monroe's been delivering free radios anywhere people might want to listen. Doctor surgeries, 
hairdressers, the guest house. Oh. I believe she charmed the local electrical store into donating them in exchange oh. for free advertising, of course. Okay. We interviewed her about her scholarship not too long ago. I just forgot to change it off the king. Rota plans to kill Monroe. What makes you think she's in danger? It's the one I use for the Roblox streams, but I forgot to change Terrible. it back. Does this have anything to do with the gentleman who stopped by? Yes. I didn't get his name, I'm afraid. He offered to do a spot on our show, doing tarot readings to answer listener questions. We said we'd think about it. You know, this town is fascinating. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Have you ever read up on the real history of August? No. The official story is that Mary August retired from a life on the high seas, found a nice spot here, and used her ill-gotten gains to establish a town. But that's not what really happened. <laughs> I'm not sure I care. It's true that Mary August was a pirate, but she didn't retire. Her ship was sunk on the rocks just off the coast. Mary and all of her crew sought refuge in a small fishing town. This one. Well, that sucks. <laughs> they slaughtered everyone. Men, women, and children. All dead and dismembered in their own homes. The bodies were dumped in a mass grave. Well, the body parts. And the pirates moved in. No one knows. It seems at some point it was built over and then forgotten about. That's pretty it weird. Could be under the school, or the church, or right beneath our feet. Psst. On that note, I should probably get back to the booth. The show must go on. Death threats. Be damned. Look after Monroe, detective. She's the only Monroe I've got. All right. I, I don't think it's him. I don't think it's him. I don't think he'd want to kill Ellis. All right. I delivered radios all over town. I don't think I should have bothered with some of them, though. I don't think... Violet, is it? I don't think Violet liked me very much. Why not? Maybe. I don't know why anyone would be threatened by me, though. I'm not interested in stealing anyone's man. Just the women. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to... Chief. Sam, I've got some heavy rain news. Oh? Lawrence Petrovsky, that's his real name, and no, he's not a Russian spy. But he does have a criminal record. He was charged with the murder of a 21-year-old artist. Looks like he got off on a technicality by all accounts. About three months ago in Hong Kong. Be careful, Sam. If you're going to ask him about this, it could be a flight risk. And you know... There's a good chance he could be the killer. I don't think he's the killer. Who's behind you? This guy's a dick. This guy's a dick. It's now 10 o'clock. Here's your August update. Investigations deepen into last night's murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw, a talented cellist who had recently been granted a place at Juilliard, was found strangled at her home last night. With the murderer still at large, Chief DuPont has urged residents to remain calm and stresses there is almost no chance of anyone else being harmed. Ellis, if you're listening, let me know you're okay. In other news, a handful of August residents have reported seeing strange lights in the sky earlier this evening. The lights, which witnesses describe as searingly bright, were spotted over the east edge of town, past the fire station. Have you seen any strange lights? For that matter, Little green men, let me know. That's 10 o'clock with Poe. Judgment day. Okie dokie. August's gone crazy tonight. 
I've just got off the phone with someone who thinks they saw a UFO on one of the nights that Violet went missing. Aliens will be normal right now. Anyway, now you're here, it's time. What do you suggest we do with Ellis Monroe? Protect her? Tell her to leave town. Good call. If she's not here, she can't get hurt. I don't understand. You're staying here, but you want me to leave? Where should I go? Be careful, Sam. Run. Wait, why'd she... We just met! Woman, we just met like three hours ago! She's falling for us, what the hell? If you're caught transitioning, there will be... consequences. Hi, Shirley, Linda. Thanks for the info, Flying Gold. So this is us. <laughs> Damn. Should I have changed into Sam? They said if we change, we can get in Alice. trouble. Alice, are you okay? You're breathing? That's good. Come on, there you go. Danny, get outside. Check the back of the house. You're gonna be all right, Alice. You're gonna be okay. You're okay. Alice is fine. <coughs> I thought she disappeared. She just ran from her house as soon as we found her, but I've had a call from Mrs. Monroe. She's there, safe. Must have broken all the speed limits to make it in that time, and God knows where her car was, but who cares? She's alive. That's what matters. Sam, I need you to get back to the guest house. The Somebody just tried to choke us out. They have a new target. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Poe, and this is your August update. Police investigating the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw say they are getting closer to apprehending the killer. The death of Miss Shaw, who was found strangled at her home late last night, has sparked a massive police operation and caused alarm amongst August residents. Monroe has some personal business to attend to, but she sends you all her love and hopes to be back on the air tomorrow. And Monroe, if you can hear me, I'm sending my love out to you too. That's 11 o'clock with Poe. Poe likes her. Who's Sam. the next target? Is it Violet? I have some bad news. We've done a group reading. Stop doing That's those! You. What? I don't know, Sam. I, I don't know what to say. It's normally a death sentence, but with you, it might be different. I think why? you've interfered too much. That's why you're the next target. I've called Chief Dupont already. He's asked that you meet with him. Okay. You should go, Sam. Be careful. Why do all these people keep kissing me? We just met. That's weird. Sam, is that is that like a European it's thing? It's almost midnight. You're still alive. This is a good thing. But no one's even attempted to kill you yet. You've given me a lot of evidence. Enough to arrest someone. But who? I don't Make know. Make the right decision. You should be safe. If we don't, well, we've all got to sleep at some point. I can get someone to guard your room at the guest house, but it might not be enough. So, Sam, who should I arrest? I don't know. <sighs> During that whole thing with Alice, the only people I couldn't keep track of were Rain, Zack, and, and Violet. I don't want to believe it's Violet, but that's why you're here. You're impartial. 
Out of those three names, who was with Dorota at the time of her murder? Or who has an alibi that doesn't check out? This is on you, Sam. Just give me a name. With the way that Zack was talking about the being inside the photos and stuff, it made it seem really creepy. That made me suspect Zack. But the whole thing with uh, Violet not knowing anything, like literally not remembering, makes me think that she could have been possessed. Because I don't know, like, when the Travelers take over, do they fully control? Do the people know anything? Or... Yeah, like, they would just want you to figure it out. So we're, basically, we're just going to be making a guess here. Should we do a poll? I, I can't... Uh, I don't think it's rain. I don't think it's rain. Because he's taking part in the things to try to help, right? And he's not even trying to come up with, like, a fake alibi. Like, he's just... No, I was in my room. He's not even trying to hide it. No, I don't think it's Lexi. I don't think it's Dupont. I don't think it's... I definitely don't think it's Oscar. Poe seems like a nice guy. Ellis, it, Ellis is out of town. She was going to be targeted. I honestly think it's like... Zach or Violet. Alright, I'm going to do a poll just because I'm curious what you guys think. I may not pick what you guys pick though. Just so you guys know. I'm going to do a poll though just because I'm curious what you guys think. Start poll. Who done it so we've got violet like i said just because i'm doing the poll doesn't mean i'm gonna pick what you guys pick i'm just curious what you guys think rain oscar poe ellis bronwyn lexi chief dupont Sam. Oh, we're actually- we could actually accuse ourselves. Alright. Yeah, like I said, just cause that- just cause you guys can, uh, vote doesn't mean I'm gonna pick it. I'm just curious what you guys think. If it's Zach, then it's too obvious. Yeah, like, he was talking about the whole traveler thing, like, going inside the photos and stuff. That was- that's what really got me thinking, like, he's mental. But then, um, Violet was talking about the, you know, being abducted by aliens, but she's a schizophrenic, so, you know, he's, she, she literally has the insanity defense under wraps. It, it could be the chief. It very well could be the chief. It could, it could be any of them. It, hell, it could even be us. It could even be us. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so conflicted, too. I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think, though. Mm. The only one I don't think it is is Oscar. I don't think it's Oscar. Because his alibi seemed to check out. Unless DuPont was just covering for him. Like... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It was Colonel Mustard with the pipe in the ballroom. <laughs> yeah, wrong game. Wrong game. It could be totally, like, plot twisty. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm curious what you guys think, though. I want to see. Looks like you guys are all voting for Zach, Violet, and Chief Dupont. Most of you guys, anyway. Yeah, I want to see what you guys think. Cast your votes, because I'm curious. Oh, fuck. I hope it's not Violet. I like Violet. Alexio, Hello. If, if, if it's Sam, that's actually us. And somebody choked us out. So it's definitely not Sam. Ellis was leaving. I don't think it's Ellis. I don't think Poe would hurt Ellis. Because we were disguised as Ellis when we got attacked. Violet's just a crackpot. Like, it's not even that she's suspicious. She's literally schizophrenic. Oh, man. I still feel like it's Zack over Violet. I don't know, though. Lots of people think it's Sam now. Wow, Sam's actually, like, pulled ahead. 
But I don't think it's Sam because that's us. We got choked out. Yeah, we got choked out. I'm not, like I said, I'm not picking whatever gets wins. I'm just curious what you guys think. Because you're a shapeshifter, you're too dangerous. But we're the next target, they said. So why would we kill ourselves? Unless it's like a scene from another dimension, which hey, I guess it could be because it's like interdimensional travel, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's- I don't think it's us. I don't think it's Rain. I know he said that he was, a. Uh, got off of a murder case for a technicality. But I don't think, unless he just thinks he's that smart that he can get away with it even right under the, their noses. What if it's Bronwyn? I don't think it's Bronwyn. I don't think it's any of the tarot readers. I really don't. Mm. I should just flip a coin. I don't have a coin near me though. Oh, I still think it's Zach. I still think it's Zach or Violet. Okay. We haven't been interrogated. This is true. But we were also attacked, so that's what makes you say it's not us. I think I'm gonna go with Zach. The whole thing how he was talking about the picture. Um, that really kind of creeped me out. And the alien thing is, you know, Aliens and abductions, that, that's that been something really common. But like going into a picture and stuff and like moving around the world, that's different. Especially when he's not like, you know, she's on medication. She's on medication. I don't think that she did it. I don't know. I, I'm so not convinced either way. Oh, I want to investigate some more. Oh, man. Ha, <laughs> lots of people thought it was him. I think I'm gonna go with Zach, because, like I said, Violet's- Violet's- yeah, she's on drugs. Zach, I don't trust him either. He's definitely creepy. I don't know, we'll don't see what happens. Myself. With all the information you've given me, I think it'll be enough. Maybe he'll confess, too. That would help. Good luck, Sam. If you pick the wrong person... We totally are gonna danger. die. We're probably gonna die. Probably gonna die now. I don't know what happens, we probably die. I hope we're right, I don't know. I don't know. Sam, you asked for these earlier. Make sure you get some sleep now. You'll need it. Night. Could you not be so creepy, Violet? Don't be Violet, I like Violet. She's crazy, but I like her. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. That was, that was mean. Bad taste. <laughs> yes. Um, Bronwyn asked me to check that you're okay, and you seem to be. Well done, catching a killer, by the way. Well, hopefully you did. <laughs> Scream if you need me. It's one o'clock in the morning, and this is Poe with your August updates. I don't even know yet. We don't normally have them at this time, but since there's a killer on the loose, I feel it's my duty to keep the radio station manned. I personally spoke with Chief Dupont earlier, and he thinks they're close to catching the killer. Until that happens, though, please lock your doors and stay inside. Remain vigilant. The light has faded, and so has my fortitude. I see things in shadows, behind doors and under desks. I hear the chattering of teeth and the glee of insects waiting to feed on me. The studio undulates like a heart that beats its last beats. I can't go on. I must to bed. Forgive me, Lady August. Forgive me. Dude! Ah, 
I hope we don't die. I hope we don't die. I hope we don't die. <laughs> Did we guess the right per person? Hello, sleepyhead. I'm so glad to see you alive. <gasps> I'm alive! Did I win? <laughs> Did I win? Enjoy the journey, Sam. Don't think of things as ending. Something new is beginning. Zack is still locked up. He's being charged for murder. Travelers don't like being incarcerated, so they'll have jumped realities already. It's not something that a jury will believe. The shell they've left behind will remember what they've done and spend a life in prison. All we can do is try and stop the next one. Sam, come with us, please. We could really use someone like you and, well, just, will you? Really? Oh, Sam. That's wonderful. Let's finish packing and we can leave this afternoon. Sam, thank you. We're going to change lives, believe me. Hey, sweet cheeks. You did good, real good. You win, Alexi hug. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I'm just I'm going to say to it die. you only live once and all that. Sam, I think I've fallen for you. We just that's met it. yesterday. That's all I have to say. It's out there now, we can get on with our lives. That's a nice thing to say. <laughs> I mean, we just met. We just met Lexi. I see. Nice thing. Well, <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. Heart wants what it wants. Perhaps you should go for a while so I can have a little cry. I'll be okay though. We just met yesterday. Sam, you're safe. Thank Christ. <laughs> um, Are we though? Sorry. Are we safe? I don't, I don't know. know where that came from. What? <laughs> we can kiss him. <laughs> All right. Sam, I, I didn't think. Well, this changes things. What does it change? Is he not going to kill me now? I didn't think you'd leave without saying goodbye. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is everybody kissing me and People hugging me? People do horrible me? things to people every day. They I'm do. I'm just glad that someone like you are around to save us. I mean, everyone needs a little saving from time to time. Even me. That's easy for you to say. Look what you've just been through. I'd have been dead a few hours ago if it wasn't for you. But you're right. <laughs> I am strong. I will be fine. <laughs> but I like having you around, Sam. I hope you're staying. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Sam, you did good. We gotta go hook up with Rain. <laughs> I mean, not that I've got a signed confession or anything yet. Apparently, they don't remember anything about the murders, but Bronwyn seems pretty convinced it's over. Well done. I hear you're leaving town with the tarot readers. That's a real big shame you were starting to get in here. But, good luck to you. You're doing what many of us have died trying. Leaving August. Thanks. I must up to my word. That problem you had, I buried it. The coroner's report is going to say the woman was dead when you arrived, not after. I don't personally believe in exorcism or anything like that, but over the last 24 hours... Who did we kill? I'm starting to think things aren't as cut and dried as I'd like them to be. You're a good person, Sam. At least that's definitely how it looks from the outside. Wait. So she's... I am Dorota. I am 21 years old. Um, I love playing cello, and I just been awarded a scholarship to Juilliard. <laughs> she I just got killed. Love cello. I love all string instruments, but cello is 
rich and deep and uh, soothing, at least to me. This is the interview. Cello is my hobby, but my real passion is... (laughs) It's silly, it sounds silly. Well, I would like to build a time machine. (laughs) I know, I know. But it is possible. I think people make mistakes. They do things they regret and they say things they don't mean. I want to go back in time. I want to make better choices. You know why you're here, don't you? Because you did well. And you know what happens when you do well? Augmentation. Congratulations, Agent 3.13. Welcome to 3.14. What the hell just happened? Enter secret debriefing? Debriefing 3204, Birmingham. Transmit. And we're ready. Are you human? Debrief complete. Agent ready. You can go. What? What if I said no? Now I want to know what happens if I said no. What happens if I push resume? I want to see if I can say no. No, I want to see if I can say no. What? Okay, so obviously we're a shapeshifter, so we weren't really technically human, I guess. Confuzzled. I'm confuzzled too, guys. Oh my god, I'm so confused. Oh my god. that That's the end of the shapeshifting detective. I, I did hear somebody say that there was multiple killers it could have been, so if you were to play, you might get a different killer. Um... But yeah, it kind of just leaves a lot of stuff up in the open and you have to just guess, guess stuff at the end there. And we got it right, I think. Uh, we didn't get killed, so. So what now? That's the end of the stream. I'm going to be going to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to be doing a raid though, so stick around for that. Let's get to see who's on. Let's see if we can go raid somebody. See if anybody's playing some Dead by Daylight. Let's see. Subscribers. Alright, super detective. I, you know, it was that one thing that really got me there with the, uh, the whole going into the portrait thing. That, like, really kind of, that really stood out in my head. And that's what made me think it was him. Was it even him, though? It might have been us. I feel like it was us. I hope you guys liked it, though. Alright, Porkins is on right now. Let's go raid him. He is playing... Some Red Dead Redemption. I... Not sure what chapter he's on. Looks like he's on chapter 4. Could be chapter 4 later. I'm not positive. Is it chapter 4? Might be. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell by looking at it. There is a link. Come join on this raid. Share some love with Master Sergeant Porkins. He's a great streamer. He's a good friend of mine. Show some love there, guys. Make sure you subscribe and like on his channel. I will be live streaming tomorrow. Um, we're doing some Dead by Daylight tomorrow night. Not sure if we're doing anything else in the daytime. So, as for the people asking for Roblox pets, and I do that probably like every other day, so probably won't be tomorrow unless I can get a lot of pets tonight. It'll be probably the next day. And uh, yeah, stay tuned then. I'll see you guys all. Have a wonderful night. See y'all tomorrow.